In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to edit a sequence of vertical video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, I'm going to do this tutorial um, and aim it at beginners so some of the stuff I go through you may already know. So the first thing, when you um, get through all the banners at the beginning, I can't remember exactly what they are, um, you'll get to this screen here, which is uh, the default setting, and it will be at 16.9 wide angle. So the f there's a couple of things I would change in OpenShot. I would do this even if I was um, working with 16.9 um, aspect ratio. Um, so if you just come up to um, file sorry edit forget that select edit and then select preferences it'll bring this banner up here select preview you can do that with this tab here as well but I want to change something else so next to default profile I've actually got this set up at HD 1080p 50 frames per second because that's what my video works at um, but I want to change this so select the little drop down arrow and you've got a few options at present not many for vertical editing so you've got HD vertical 1080p 30 frames per second or 7 20 30 frames per second the frame rate is the rate that your video will render at it it d doesn't really bear any resemblance to the frame rate of your actual video so I'll select HD vertical 1080p 30 frames per second now the one thing I um, on the occasions when I use open shot I like to do is select the cache and increase the amount or make sure you've got at least 10,000 megabytes um, I can't remember what the default setting is but I believe it's it well it certainly was a lot lower than that originally in fact I'll change this and increase it to 20 okay and then you can select close and this banner will come up here and you'll have to restart open shot so select OK close open shot down and reopen it so now I've reopened open shot and I've got a vertical aspect ratio which is fine to bring videos into open shot you want to bring them into this panel here now you can right click and import files but I prefer to have my file browser open with the videos selected that I want to use and just drag them in. You can change the way you sort of sizes of the panels by selecting these little lines here if you want. Now one of the problems with OpenShot um, is it doesn't prefetch um, and there are no real ways of working with uh, proxy clips which makes it quite a uh, for want of a better word lumpy video editor and you can get away with cutting um, videos in open shot but the minute you've got anything of any size 4k or long videos it can be a problem and that's why I increased the cache size because I'll show you one trick for um, editing in open shot that gets around this problem of uh, lag if you like in the playback so I'm just going to slide this bar down so I can see track one and I'll literally just drag every clip into track one and snap it up don't overlap them 
So they've all snapped together. Okay. Now, because I've increased the cache size, if I play this video, or these videos, what should happen is I get a constant blue line. But for some reason, with the new version, I don't. So the way around this problem is you have to force your um, editor to change the cache size a bit. So just come back up to edit, preferences, select cache, and increase it by one or decrease it by one. So I'm, I'm going to just take this down. So I've actually got 19,999. And next time I'll take it back up. Select close. And with your pointer at the beginning, you've got an option. You can either press play or I tend to double click the fast forward button. And you'll see that this blue line here is coming across with the marker. Once you get to the end, don't select anything here. What you're looking to do is actually drag the marker along to the point where you want to cut your video. So I'm gonna, I wanna cut this video here. But the minute I cut it, um, there are a few options for cutting the video. I'll have to go back through this process again. So what I would do is just select a marker. It's this little green arrow here. Drag your timeline slider along, and then add a marker. And go over to the next clip. Side where you want to start, add a marker. Then along to the end, add a marker. Go over to the next clip, add a marker, and just keep going until okay. And again, use the slider to come back to the beginning, and then you've got a couple of options this will take you back this will take you forward to your next key point so this is the place i want to cut this video now i could drag this over but uh, to be honest with you if you want to get involved in a real complicated editing open shot probably isn't the, the editor for you so at this point here if you right click use your right mouse button on the actual marker you'll see something that says slice all now you've got options so you could keep both sides you could um, keep the right hand side which you want in this instance because you're, you're collecting uh, cutting the beginning out also it's worth remembering these shortcuts as well but for now I'm just gonna keep the right hand side I'll come over to this next marker right click slice all and this time I'm gonna keep the left hand side go to the next one right click slice all keep the right hand side do the same left hand side and just keep going through your video until you've cut out each section I don't know what's happened there I don't want that one I want this one here
once you've done that drag your videos so that they snap together and hopefully you should have an edited video but again you'll see that it's actually lagging and I don't know of any way in OpenShot to get around that problem um, on playback until the cache is finished and then again make sure you slide your um, slider back don't change anything and this time you should be able to play and it should be quite smooth but even now it's lagging but that will do for this tutorial so that's one way you can edit in open shot finally come to the top there's a little button that says export video select this um, give it a title if you want and then decide where you're going to save your video so let's bring it on the desktop select folder and then select export video that's all you need to do once the video is finished rendering it'll say 100% um, one thing I didn't say you can change the quality here We're using this drop down I've got it set at high um, but once your video is finished rendering select done and hopefully you should have an edited vertical video clip which plays back okay and is ready to use in your favorite media website hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers